Hi everyone, my name is Perry Monaco and I work here at LinkedIn. Today I wanted to talk to you about the importance of understanding why you should have a social media strategy and how you can use some real life examples in order to maximize your presence on social media. A lot of times the people that I have spoken with are really apprehensive to engage with social media because they're afraid of doing something wrong or getting into trouble or they're just unsure of where it is that they should start. Ultimately, in my experience again, the thing that works best to sort of relay the best practices is to use a real life analogy or a real life story. And that's what I want to do for you here today. Imagine the person that you're working with has been invited to an event. They're going to receive the invitation to that event in real life and they're going to think about three different things. The first thing they're going to think about is what should I wear? Ultimately, we want to make sure, regardless of if the event is virtual or in person, that we show up and make the right first impression. So we're going to think about what we're going to actually look like physically when we go to that event. We want to make sure that we are dressed appropriately. The same thing applies to social media. We're going to make sure that we want to critically look at our profile and make sure that it gives a right first impression and says exactly what we want it to say to the people who are engaging with our profiles. The second thing that you're going to think about when you receive that invitation to an event is who's going to be there. Is it worth my time to go to the event based on who's going to be there? Is it a large party? Is it a small party? Are the people who are at the event going to help me achieve my goals? These are things that we think about in real life. And you should also think about this when it comes to your connection strategy on social media. Am I connecting with the right people? Are the people that I am connecting with going to help me achieve my goal? Are they going to help me get a new job? The last thing you're going to think about when you receive that invitation to an event is do I have the time? Realistically, we don't have the time to attend every single event that we get invited to, nor may we have the time to invest in social media in the way in which we're going to talk about today. Ultimately, the choice is yours. You may determine that based on the type of connections you need to make and or the type of industry that you're going to get into may dictate that social media or LinkedIn in particular is not the right place for you. At the very least, you should have a basic strategy to ensure that if anyone does see your profile, you're going to get noticed. But there isn't necessarily something wrong with saying these particular social networks don't work for me, yet these social networks do work for me. It's not about doing everything across all platforms. It's about doing what makes sense in the most targeted and focused manner. Now that we've talked about the importance of a social media strategy, let's talk about why it's important to have a profile on LinkedIn. But first, let's understand what LinkedIn really is. LinkedIn is the world's largest professional network with over 500 million members globally. Here in Canada, there's over 12 million members and almost 30 million students and new graduates. So what that really means is there are a lot of individuals like you and the people that you're working with on LinkedIn right now. And so it's important that we leverage LinkedIn in the right way in order for us to achieve our goals. While you're on LinkedIn, we want you to think about three main objectives. The first thing is building your brand on LinkedIn. The second thing is exploring jobs on LinkedIn. And finally, it's getting hired via LinkedIn. Nine out of 10 corporate recruiters are using LinkedIn today, and 75% of all hiring managers are viewing profiles on LinkedIn. So it's really important for you to understand the importance of building your brand on LinkedIn in a professional way. I'm sure that many of you have profiles on other social media networks, and that's totally fine. While you may be using some of those other networks to connect with your family and friends, think about LinkedIn as connecting with recruiters and companies and hiring managers and what are some of those things that you're going to do to engage them, connect with them, and share with them that can help lead you to your next opportunity. Today I want to talk to you about the six most important things you should include on your LinkedIn profile when you're navigating through your job search. These six things are vital for success in your job search. So please pay attention and make sure that you complete every single one of these sections. The first thing that you need to make sure that you have is a photo. You want to make sure that your photo is colorful, it's engaging, preferably has a smile. The second thing you want to make sure that you have included on your profile is the education and training section of your profile. Detail all of your post-secondary education and any additional courses that you may have taken that will apply to the particular industry in which you're trying to enter. It's really important that you make sure that you back up some of your practical experience with the classroom experience that you've also gained throughout your career. 
Don't worry about the years that you put on your profile when it comes to when you graduated. The third section that you should make sure you complete is your experience section. Any relevant experience that you've completed in your industry should be included here. But don't forget any other experience that you may have should also appear here as well. While your past experience may not be directly related to the role that you're trying to achieve now, holding down a job for a specific period of time is something that future employers will value and it's something that they're going to look for when they're engaging with your profile. The fourth section that you want to make sure that you include is volunteer experience. And this is a section that I find to be one of the most important. Culturally, many companies these days will not hire someone unless they have a strong connection to the community. It's really valuable for me to ensure that every single person that I interview is not only a skilled professional that I'm going to be able to bring into my organization with confidence to execute on a professional level, but also somebody who is going to be a cultural fit, somebody who understands the importance of giving back to the community and will participate in some of the extracurricular activities we do in the office that engages with the community in a positive way. So list out all of those volunteer organizations that you've been involved with over the years. The fifth section that you want to fill out on your LinkedIn profile is that of skills. You're going to want to make sure that you include all of the different skills that you have, professionally speaking, that relate directly to the job that you're trying to achieve. There's a specific section for this that employers will look at and they will search through. So make sure you're being very broad in terms of the number of skills that you list here. You can list up to 50 skills on your profile and I would recommend that you list as many of those as you possibly can. The last section that I want you to think about is the summary section, and this is point number six. This might also be the hardest section in order for you to fill out because we don't give you any examples or any details of what should appear here. This is the opportunity you have to explain to employers where you've been, what you're doing now, and what you want to do in the future. Be very clear in the career arc that you've experienced over the course of your career, and also make sure they understand what your passions are. What is it that you want to do? Ultimately, a summary can appear in three paragraphs. The first paragraph, of course, is going to be about you. What it is that you currently do? What are some of your passions? The last paragraph should be a little bit of personal information. This is the opportunity you have to be able to break the ice a little bit with your hiring manager before you actually engage with them face to face in an interview. You can list out some of the things that you like to do after work, some of the things you may be passionate about, Give the hiring manager an idea of what it is that you like to do outside of work so again they can determine if you're going to be a good cultural fit for that particular organization. While those are the six most important aspects of your LinkedIn profile, the last thing I want you to remember is that most of the time your profile is going to be viewed on a mobile device. So don't get too wordy on your profile. Imagine what that profile is going to look like on that small screen and then try to make your profile fit. If you're a youth and you're not on LinkedIn today, Remember why it's so important to get on LinkedIn and be able to engage with other individuals on the network that can help lead you to your next opportunity. If you're someone that works with youth, please take some of these strategies, deliver them back to your community, and make sure they understand why LinkedIn can be a powerful tool in their job search.